is Anastasia Smith of Journey Chanel Designs and today we will be making the Forever Cardigan using Mary Maxim's Glimmer which is a size 4 worsted weight yarn in the color lavender. You will also need your size K 6.5 millimeter hook, a pair of scissors, stitch markers, and a measuring tape. Let's get started. To start off, we will be making the back panel. You're going to make a slip knot. And you're going to chain 82 for sizes large, extra large, and 2XL. Once you're done with all 82 chains, you are now going to make a half double crochet in the second chain from your hook. Half double crochet in the next chain. Half double crochet in the next chain. Half double crochet in the next chain. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in your last chain. Once you're done, you should have a total of 81 half double crochet stitches for sizes large, extra large, and two extra large. You're going to chain two and turn your work. For row two, you're going to make a double crochet in the same first stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Now skip the next stitch and make a puff B stitch in the next stitch. So you're going to yarn over your hook, insert your hook into the next stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over your hook again, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over your hook, pull up a loop. Yarn over your hook again. Insert your hook into the same stitch. Yarn over your hook. Pull up a loop. Yarn over your hook again. Insert your hook into the same stitch. Yarn over. Pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all loops except for the last loop. Yarn over. Pull through all loops. Now you're going to chain one. And you're going to repeat this process again. So you're going to yarn over your hook, insert your hook into the same stitch you just worked, yarn over and pull up a loop, yarn over again, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over again, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, Yarn over, pull through all loops except for the last loop. Yarn over, pull through the remaining loops. And this is your puff B stitch. So a puff stitch, a chain one, and a puff stitch. Now you're going to skip the next stitch and make a double crochet in the next stitch. Make a half double crochet in the next stitch. Now we're going to skip two stitches and make four double crochet in the next stitch. Once you have all four, you're going to chain one and make four more double crochet stitches in the same stitch. Once 
Once you're done, this will be your shell stitch. Four double crochet, a chain one, and four double crochet. Now you're going to skip the next two stitches and make a half double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Now you're going to skip the next stitch and make a puff V stitch in the next stitch. So a puff stitch. Chain one and puff stitch in the same stitch to complete your puff V stitch set. Now you're going to skip the next stitch and make a double crochet in the next stitch. Now half double crochet in the next stitch. Skip two. Make four double crochet in the next stitch. Once you're done with the four double crochets, you're going to chain one and make four more double crochets in that same stitch to complete your shell stitch. Now you're going to skip the next two stitches and make a half double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Skip a stitch and make a puff V stitch in the next stitch. So a puff stitch. Chain one. And puff stitch in the same stitch. And you have now completed your puff V stitch. Now you're going to skip a stitch and make a double crochet in the next stitch. And then you're going to repeat from the last half double crochet all the way to the last double crochet. You're going to repeat that whole process over until there are only three stitches left. Once you have finished your repeats, you're going to skip the fourth stitch, make a double crochet in the third to last stitch. Make a double crochet in the remaining stitches. And you have now finished the row. You should have a total of seven puff V stitch sets and six shells. You're going to chain two and turn your work. You're going to make a double crochet in the same first stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Back post double crochet around the next double crochet stitch. Puff V stitch in the chain one space of the previous puff V stitch set.
Once you're done, you're going to make a back post double crochet around the next double crochet stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Now chain three and single crochet in the chain one space of your shell stitch. Chain three. Double crochet in the next half double crochet stitch. Back post double crochet around the next double crochet stitch. Puff V stitch in the next chain one space of the previous puff V stitch. back post double crochet around the next double crochet stitch double crochet in the next half double crochet stitch chain three single crochet in the chain one space of the next shell stitch chain three Double crochet in the next half double crochet stitch. Back post double crochet around the next double crochet stitch. Puff V stitch in the next chain one space of the previous puff V stitch. Now you're going to back post double crochet around the next double crochet stitch. And now you're going to repeat from the double crochet all the way to the back post double crochet section across until you have two stitches left. Once you're done with your last stitch, you're going to make a double crochet in the second to last stitch and a double crochet in the last stitch. You should have a total of seven puffy stitch sets and 12 chain three spaces. Now you're going to chain two and turn your work. You make a double crochet in the same first stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Front post double crochet in the next front post double crochet. Puff V stitch in the next chain one space of the previous puff V stitch set.
front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet three double crochet in the next double crochet stitch Single crochet in the next chain three space, chain one, and single crochet in the next chain three space. Make three double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. Make a front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. Puff V stitch in the next chain one space of the previous puff V stitch set. Front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. Three double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. Single crochet in the next chain three space. Chain one, single crochet in the next chain one space, three double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. Front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. Puff stitch, puff V stitch in the next chain one space of the previous puff V stitch set. And you're going to repeat from the front post double crochet all the way to the puff V stitch set all the way across until you have three stitches left. When you have three stitches left, you're going to front post double crochet around the last front post double crochet. And you're going to do double crochet in the last two stitches. You should have a total of seven puff V stitch sets and 12 three double crochet sets. Chain two and turn your work. Double crochet in the same stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Back post double crochet around the back post double crochet from the previous row puff V stitch in the chain one space of the previous puff V stitch set
back post double crochet around the next back post double crochet double crochet in the first double crochet chain three single crochet in the chain one space now you're going to chain two and single crochet in the same chain one space now chain three skip to the last double crochet and make a double crochet in that last stitch Now make a back post double crochet in the next back post double crochet. Puff V stitch in the chain one space from the previous puff V stitch set. back post double crochet around the next back post double crochet double crochet in the next double crochet stitch chain three single crochet in the next chain one space chain two single crochet in the same chain one space chain three skip to the very last double crochet and make a double crochet stitch back post double crochet around the next back post double crochet Puff V stitch in the next chain one puff V stitch set. And now you're going to repeat from the back post double crochet on the inside all the way to the puff V stitch. And you're going to repeat that across until you have three stitches left. Once you're done, you're going to make a back post double crochet around the last back post double crochet. Make a double crochet in the last two stitches. You should now have a total of seven puff V stitch sets and 12 chain three sets. You're going to chain two and turn your work. You're going to double crochet in the same stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. Puff V stitch in the next chain one space of the previous puff V stitch set. Front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. You're going to make a half double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. And now you're going to make a shell stitch in your chain two space. So four double crochet.
chain one and now make four double crochet in the same chain two space When you're done with your shell, you should have four double crochets, a chain one, and four double crochets. Now you're going to skip to your next double crochet stitch and make a half double crochet. Make a front post double crochet in the next front post double crochet. Make a puff V stitch in the next chain one space of the puff V stitch from the previous row. front post double crochet in the next front post double crochet half double crochet in the next double crochet stitch and now make a shell stitch in the next chain two space so four double crochet a chain one and four double crochet When you're done, you will make a half double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. Front post double crochet around the next front post double crochet. You're going to make a puff V stitch in the next chain one space of the previous puff V stitch set. Okay, when you're done, you repeat from the front post double crochet on the far side of the shell all the way to the last puff V stitch set, and you'll repeat that all the way across until you have three stitches left. When you have three stitches left, you're going to front post double crochet around the last front post double crochet, and then double crochet in the last two stitches. When you're done, you should have a total of seven puff V stitch sets and six shell stitches. Now you're going to repeat rows three through six five more times for a total of 26 back panel rows. When you're done with row 26, you are going to chain two and turn your work. You're going to make a double crochet in the same first stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Back post, double crochet in the next back post, double crochet. Puff V stitch in the next chain one space. Back post double crochet around the back post double crochet. And now you're going to make three double crochet in the half double crochet stitch.
And now you're going to single crochet in the chain one space of your shell stitch. Make three double crochet in the next half double crochet stitch. Back post double crochet around the next back post double crochet. Puff V stitch in the next chain one space. Back post double crochet around the next back post double crochet. Make three double crochet in the next half double crochet stitch. Single crochet in the next chain one space of the shell stitch. Three double crochet in the next half double crochet stitch. Back post double crochet around the next back post double crochet. Puff V stitch in the next chain one space. And you're going to repeat from back post double crochet all the way to your last puff V stitch and repeat that all the way across until you have three stitches left. Once you have three stitches left, you're going to back post double crochet around the last back post double crochet and double crochet in the last two stitches. When you're done, you should have a total of 81 stitches for sizes large, extra large, and two extra large. You're going to finish off weaving your ends. And now for the top panel, you're going to make a slip knot and chain 48. When you're done with all 48 chains, you're going to make a single crochet in the first stitch on the back panel on the right side, single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the front post double crochet stitch, single crochet in the first puff stitch, Single crochet in the chain one space, single crochet in the puff stitch, single crochet in the next double crochet stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, and half double crochet in the single crochet stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the front post double crochet, single crochet in the first puff stitch, single crochet in the chain one space, single crochet in the next puff stitch, single crochet in the front post double crochet stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across until your very last stitch.
Once you have finished in all 81 stitches, you will now make the other side and you will chain 49. Once you're done, you should have a total of 178 chains or stitches. Now you're going to turn your work and make a single crochet in the second chain from your hook. Single crochet in the next chain. Single crochet in the next chain. Single crochet in the next chain. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in your last chain. Once you're done, you should have a total of 177 single crochet stitches. You're now going to chain two and turn your work. You're going to make a double crochet in the same first stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in your second to last stitch. Once you're done with your second to last stitch, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into the last stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over again, insert your hook into the same stitch, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through all loops. And that is your cluster stitch or double crochet to tog together that you should have 177 stitches. You're going to chain one and turn your work. And now you're going to single crochet in the same stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. And in each stitch, all the way across, ending in your last stitch. Once you're done, you should have a total of 177 single crochet stitches. You're now going to chain two and turn your work. You're going to make a double crochet in the same first stitch. Now you're going to make a front post double crochet in the next stitch from two rows down. So in the next double crochet stitch. Now you're going to work in the regular row, skipping the next stitch and working a double crochet in the next stitch. Now you're going to skip the next stitch and you're going to work a front post double crochet in this double crochet from the previous row in the next stitch. So skip the stitch you would have worked into and double crochet into the next stitch. Basically you're skipping a stitch on every other row. So you'll skip the next double crochet and work a front post double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in your second to last stitch. Now when you are finished with your last front post stitch, you're going to make a double crochet in the second to last stitch. And a double crochet in the last stitch. When you're done, you should have a total of 177 stitches. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work and you're going to single crochet in the same first stitch. Single crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your last stitch. When you're done, you'll have a total of 177 single crochet stitches. Now you're going to chain two and turn your work. And now we're going to make a double crochet in the same first stitch. Double crochet in the next stitch. And now we're going to be working in the double crochet from two rows down. 
in between the front post stitches. So you're going to make a front post stitch, double crochet around the double crochet from two rows below. Skip the next stitch and make a double crochet in the next stitch. Skip the front post double crochet stitch and make a front post double crochet in the next double crochet stitch. Skip the next stitch and make a regular double crochet in the next stitch. Now skip the next front post stitch and front post double crochet in the next stitch. And you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your second to last stitch. Once you get to your second to last stitch, you're going to make a front post double crochet stitch in the second to last double crochet stitch. And now you're going to make a cluster stitch or a double crochet two together in the last stitch. You should have a total of 177 stitches when you're done. And now you're going to repeat rows four through seven, seven more times for a total of 35 top rows. Finish off and weave in your ends once you're done. We will now be connecting the body and creating the armholes. So you're going to take the top front sections of the panel, the ones that stick out, and you're going to fold them down flat, laying against the bottom lace panel making sure the wrong side is facing up when it's folded and now you're going to single crochet slip stitch or so eight inches from the bottom up towards the fold now you're going to attach your yarn at the bottom area the very first and last stitch You're going to single crochet them together. You can also slip stitch or sew them. You're going to chain one and single crochet in the same stitch. Insert your hook into the next beginning ending stitch in the next stitch of the front panel and single crochet. Insert your hook in the next two stitches and single crochet. Insert your hook into the next stitch in the next stitch on the other side of the panel and single crochet single crochet through both ends of the next two stitches single crochet and you're going to repeat this all the way across until you get to your stitch marker which should mark out to eight inches in total once you're done finish off and weave in your ends and this is what it'll look like when it's done we will now be making the collar area. You're going to lay your garment down flat with the right side facing up and you're going to attach your yarn to the far left bottom inside corner. You're going to work up the panel, around the neck, and down the other side of the panel ending on the opposite corner. And you're going to repeat this back and forth. So you're going to attach your yarn at the far left inside corner. You're going to chain one and half double crochet in the same first stitch half double crochet in the next stitch half double crochet in the next stitch half double crochet in the next stitch and you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your last stitch on the other side of your cardigan when you're done, you should have a total of 177 half double crochet stitches. Now you're going to chain one and turn your work. For row two, you're going to make a half double crochet in the same first stitch. You're going to half double crochet in the front third loop. Half double crochet in the front third loop half double crochet in the front third loop and you're going to repeat this all the way across 
ending in your second to last stitch. When you're done in your second to last stitch, you're going to make a regular half double crochet in the last stitch. And when you're done, you should have a total of 177 half double crochet stitches. Chain one and turn your work and half double crochet in the same first stitch. Now we're going to work in the back third loop. So there's the front third loop, the two regulars, and then the back third loop. You're going to insert your hook into that loop. And you're going to make a half double crochet. So again, you're going to skip the front third loop, the two top regular loops, and then you're going to work into the back third loop, making a half double crochet. Again, you're going to skip the three front loops and work into the third back loop. And now you're going to repeat this all the way across, ending in your second to last stitch. Once you're done with your second to last stitch, you're going to make a regular half double crochet in the last stitch. You should have a total of 177 half double crochet stitches and now you're going to repeat rows two through three two more times for a total of seven collar rows once you're done with all seven collar rows you're going to chain one and turn your work and you're going to make a single crochet in the same first stitch single crochet in the front third loop of the next stitch single crochet in the front third loop of the next stitch single crochet in the front third loop of the next stitch single crochet in the front third loop of the next stitch and you're going to repeat this all the way across ending in your second to last stitch once you're done in your second to last stitch you're going to make a single crochet in your very last stitch when you're done you should have a total of 177 single crochet stitches now you're going to chain one and turn your work you're going to make a single crochet in the same stitch single crochet in the next stitch single crochet in the next stitch and you're going to repeat that all the way across ending in your last stitch for a total of 177 single crochet stitches when you're done finish off and weave in your ends when you're done your collar should look like this if you want you can also single crochet across the bottom edging and finish off on the other side or you can leave it undone it's up to you We will now be working on the sleeves, so you're going to attach your yarn to the bottom center of your armhole with the right side of the garment facing out. We're going to be working in the beginning ending chain 2 area of every row, so you're going to chain 1 and half double crochet in the same stitch. Half double crochet in the next beginning ending chain 2 double crochet area half double crochet in the same area make two half double crochets in the next chain two double crochet beginning stitch two half double crochets in the next chain two double crochet beginning ending stitch and you're going to repeat this all the way around until you get to the front panel area when you get to the front panel area you will work a half double crochet and in each stitch all the way around and you will end just before your very first half double crochet once you're done with your last stitch you're going to slip stitch to your first half double crochet you're going to chain one and you're going to make a half double crochet in the third back loop of the half double crochet from the previous row again you're going to make a half double crochet in the third back loop from the previous stitch half double crochet in the third back loop from the previous stitch third back loop from the next stitch and you're going to repeat this all the way around ending in your last stitch Once you're done with your last stitch, you're going to slip stitch to your first stitch. Now you're going to chain one and you're going to repeat round two two more times and then finish off and weave in your ends. And this is what it'll look like when it is finished.
Modeled size is large, extra large, and 2XL all combined. You can look at the pattern to determine the best size for you. Each size has a substantial amount of positive ease. Thanks so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so you can get the most updated patterns for you. Thank you so much, and have a wonderful day!